Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm gonna share with you all of the products that I have used up. And I was gonna say recently, like it was just yesterday that they all got empty together. Um, but I actually do set aside a bin and I collect all of my beauty empties. And then when I have a healthy amount, I sit down and do a video like this and share with you if I'm going to repurchase an item, what I thought of it, why I use the whole thing, even if I'm not gonna repurchase it. There are a few things in this tub that make me wanna cry. I'm not even joking, actually, because they're so expensive and I use the whole thing and I'm like, what do I do now? WTF. The first thing that is kind of peering out at me in this little mountain of empty products is this cream from Laura Mercier in, I almost said in the shade, not in the shade, in the scent fig. This is such a beautiful fragrance and I love when you put on a really luxurious body cream after a bath and it kind of scents the entire bathroom and almost like down the hall and wherever you go, you are just scented so beautifully of the product. That's what this does where even if I put a sweatshirt on, the next day my sweatshirt will smell like fig still. It just kind of lingers in the most beautiful way. These are not cheap products. Laura Mercier body products are up there in price. This is no exception, but it's very much almost a showpiece, if you will. I really like the glass jar. I like the presentation. I know I put in a product regrets video a couple years back. I had the honey bath and I don't recommend that. I don't like it. I think it's not worth the money. It doesn't really foam and it's not really scented, but the body wash is A-OK -okay, and this guy right here, the body cream, it's heaven. I just, I don't even think I can get rid of this until I literally like scrape every last little bit in here. I wish you could experience this. I wish that you were right here with me and I could be like, smell. It's amazing. I've gotten used to using this particular cream after a nice soak in the tub. It just mentally prepares me to kind of tuck in and wind the day down. And I think I am gonna repurchase this because it is such a hydrating, moisturizing, beautifully scented ritual of mine. And it lasted me a really long time. I've had this for a good seven, eight months. So was expensive, but did last a long time. And I love it. Something that I am going to need to run to the store and repurchase ASAP is this guy right here. I got back into the habit of using the Dior Air Flash Spray Foundation recently, and I had, I don't know, not even half a can left. I had not been using this for a while because I was rotating through trying a bunch of other foundations, but this one is something I always go back to. It is beautiful. I spray it on a brush, apply it to the face. It's quick. It's easy. This is the shade 300. I also have the shade 301, which is here somewhere. It's a little bit dark for me, but I'm almost like, mm, maybe I'll just slap some self tanner on and use that one. Cause it's just like a tiny little bit too dark for me and I can make it work. But normally I'm shade 300 and this is just a beautiful foundation. I've loved it for years. It's like $60 for the bottle. I wanna say it lasts a long time, but that would be just a straight up lie. I do go through this pretty quickly, but it gives you such a beautiful finish to the face and it doesn't break me out. It's long wearing. I'm wearing it right now. And I feel like whenever I wear this foundation, especially, I just have one of those solid good skin days. So this is something I will always, whoops, it dropped. I will always keep that on hand. This is one of those items that is in a pump. You guys know I love items that come in a pump, but I use this whenever my face is like, oh gosh, like, like you look like crap. You didn't have time to work out. Did you not drink water? Why do you look unrested and unwell? This is my secret weapon for those early mornings when I have a meeting and I want to look fabulous, but things are not going the right way. This is from Liz Earle. This is the brightening treatment mask. This has aloe vera, purifying white clay, witch hazel. It's really purifying, but I feel like it also hydrates and lifts and firms. And it is a three minute mask. So what I do is I take a couple of pumps, put it all over the face. I, you know, kind of do other things. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I do other things, you know, brush my teeth, whatever. Three minutes later, you kind of wipe off the excess and your skin just feels brought back to life. It's one of my favorite quickie masks. I'm a bit jet lagged and tired from my trip to New York, which was so much fun and was go, go, go. I was on Style Code Live. I did a whole behind the scenes. If you wanna see me actually hosting on a show, I will link the get ready with me that I posted on Friday. Super proud of that video. Anyway, long story short, I came back. 
I'm really tired. I'm having a hard time getting back into just like a normal routine. And I was reaching for this this morning and I went, and I'm like, please, like little, I'm at that like tail end where like little bits are coming out, but not much. Um, just like an annoying amount. So that sucks. I don't like when you can't tell that a product is empty and it's just like surprise, like, cause it always feels lightweight, but it's just like surprise, none for you today. So meh, I need another, it's a really good mask. Oh, this was also truly devastating. This was kind of the same story, except for I went through this so quickly that I literally could curl up in the fetal position and cry about it because I looked up the price tag online and I'm like, you idiot, you should have treated it more special. Um, what's wrong with you? This is the three lab WW Day SPF 40 broad spectrum. This was a sneak preview that I got. I did my three lab um, $60 lip balm WTF. And I love that lip balm. That is one of my favorites now. It's like a huge discovery doing the WTF series. And the company saw it and they're like, we love that you did that video. Maybe we could send you some other products to try out and you could, you know, they might fit in your WTF. And I'm like, uh, you don't have to, but sure. So they sent over this serum SPF and I always have the hardest time with SPF breaking me out and clogging my pores. It is such a nightmare for me because I wanna protect my skin but I don't wanna break out. So I had been using this and loving it, like loving life because it was hydrating my skin and it was protecting me from the sun. And I'm just like, things are great. And then the day comes where I go like this and nothing's coming out. And I'm like, let's try again. And nothing's coming out. And I feel like I had only had it for like a month and I go online and I'm like, oh, <sighs> It's like $500 for this right here. I don't know if I can, I don't think I can order it. I don't think that I can find any way, shape or form to justify it. But if you have a lot of money, if you are rich, or if you're just obsessed with your skin and you want a bomb product that is so good, that is crazy expensive, but it is so good, this is it's like the Rolls Royce of SPFs. It's the best SPF I've ever used ever. And I want more, but it's just so expensive. I don't think I can do it. Um, but I will say, I could have made this last a lot longer. I was doing like this, like, oh, they sent it for free. <laughs> you know, I regret that. This always finds its way into my empties because I go through this so quickly. I use this all the time. This is the Jurgens BB Body Perfecting Skin Cream. It has five beautifying benefits in one moisturizer for a flawless appearance. I recommend the medium to deep no matter what your skin tone is. The light version is just, you don't really get anything out of it extra. And the medium just kind of melts into your skin and kind of smooths every little imperfection out and gives you like a nice glow, but it's not the kind of glow where if you sit down on a white couch, you're gonna stand up and be like, oh dear God, did I just ruin someone's sofa? Like it's not gonna get that kind of fake self tan thing that trails around you sometimes. We've all been there, at least I've been there. Oh God, I hugged a girl at a party once like a YouTube event and I had been trying out like a body bronzer on my arms and I hugged her and she's wearing a white coat and I got my makeup on her and I felt so humiliated. This is the kind of product that does not do that. It does not do that, which is great. And you get a ton in here. It's drugstore, super affordable, really, really moisturizing. And I've been using this for hmm, three years. I love it. I used this today because my other mask was totally gone and I was like, oh, Skin sucks right now, I need something. So I pulled out this hashtag beauty secret BioBell uh, sheet mask. This has no parabens, gluten-free. <laughs> Do I need to make sure my products are gluten-free now too? I wonder. For those of you who need to know an update, my gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free journey is going really well, I'm feeling better. It still kind of sucks to watch James eat pizza in front of me, but you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. So anyway, this mask is gluten-free, no GMOs. This has natural extracts and this made my skin look really nice. Let me tell you, when I woke up this morning, my skin was not nice. 
and I just, you know, put this on for about 10 minutes, took it off, put on my moisturizer, and boom, my skin was revived. So that's a, a one-time use mask empty, but now you know. This guy right here from Kerastase, this is a volumizing shampoo. This is one of those weird things where at first I was like, I love this. This is so great. It's making my hair have so much volume. And then do you ever find that shampoo can like turn its back on you and it's like, screw you, I don't want to work for your hair anymore. And a lot of people will say, that's just a myth. Shampoo shampoo. You don't need to switch it out. Your hair can't get used to a shampoo, but I think your hair can. And my hair definitely got used to this and it stopped providing good hair days for me. So there's like this much left in the bottom. I think I'm gonna give it to my sister because she wanted to try it out. But if you're looking for a long-term volumizing shampoo that works awesome, that's worth a ton of money, I don't think that one is it. Every empties, I go through my setting sprays. It just happens. Urban Decay All Nighter, this one is done. I didn't pick up a new Urban Decay All Nighter because I'm trying out this Bliss Get Set and Go Makeup Setting Spray. I really like this. Random interruption. Um, so this has been good so far. I'll probably end up repurchasing the all-nighter, but just not yet. Um, and then my MAC Fix Plus, already have new. And I don't like it when it gets down to this little bit because it ends up like squirting funny and it ruins my makeup. It's very diva of me. I know it's one of my weird things, but MAC Fix Plus is a must have. And I always have bottles of it on hand. So when I run, into that point where it's spraying weird, I just I, I just do it. I grab a new bottle. I'm also out of this deodorant. I'm not gonna repurchase this. I decided that I still get really sweaty when I use this, even though it smells so good and it doesn't even matter. I needed to switch up to something stronger. I still have not found a natural deodorant that I enjoy to save my life. I cannot find a natural deodorant that works for me. I would love to, but it hasn't happened yet, so, um, but this I was really into. I think this was like my third one. I was really, really into this for a while, but I'm back to drugstore deodorant, it's fine. Hairspray, this one is so great. I actually have another one I can see in my eye line right over there. Um, I've been using this for several years as well. When I find products that really, 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 really do a good job, I tend to stick with them. With makeup, I feel like I play around a lot more, but with skincare and hair care, I tend to be very, very loyal. And this is just a really good flexible hairspray. I like the mist. I like the scent of it. I like the hold. It's not crunchy. And this is, again, the Fixation Flexible Hold from Kerastase. And the bottle's my favorite color, which also makes me like it more. Um, I also have a body oil that I'm out of. This, I don't need more oil, clearly. Like, if you guys have seen my carousel in, like, um, either a WTF or a vloggy kind of video, if, I, if you've seen that, you know that I have, like, I have way too many bottles of body oil that anyone could ever need in their life. So I'm not going to repurchase this just yet. But I'm sure someday I will because this is a bomb product. This is the Clarins Tonic Body Treatment Oil. This is a firming and toning 100% uh, pure plant extract product. This smells like spa in the best, weirdest way. There's something very addictive about this scent and it's just like you just want to breathe it in. You like can't stop smelling it. It's so good. I love the way this feels on the body. Um, it did last me a pretty long time, but it's gone. Face. I have another spray that I'm out of, the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. Also finally used this one up after how many years? I'm not sure. I was reading on Twitter that there's something ridiculous like a 10,000 person wait list for the Glossier Boy Brow. I don't know about that, but that freaks me out. I need more of this. I love this stuff. It is so good. This is the Glossier Boy Brow and I'm in the shade um, just brown. And there's a little bit left on here, but I've had this for so long now that it's getting to that desperation point where it's not quite as good as it once was. And I think that it's been six months, seven months, like it's time for a new one. So this is going bye-bye. Also, we're at like the crunchy, like leftover little bit of the Goddess Skin Clay Mask from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I'm, you know, when you reach that point with a product where you have to like really like twist it and you're like, I will get product out of you. I might take a pair of scissors to this 
and use it one last time. I think maybe I'll do that, but this was good to me. This was a great, great mask. Highly recommend. And then this is just disgusting. What is going on here? It's reached that point of no return where when you go to get product out, it's just kind of separated and being weird. And this is not the shade that I use all the time. This is N30. And I've had this on hand for a couple years now. It's time to say bye, but this has to be one of my very, very favorite foundations. If I want to mix in with a moisturizer and keep it light, I can do that. If I want really super coverage, I can use it on its own. It's just a beautiful foundation from CoverFX. This is the Custom Cover Drops. I'm using, I think, G30. That's why that one went kind of wonky because I wasn't reaching for it a lot but it is a really great product. I hope you guys enjoyed going through my product empties and that it gives you a few product recommendations of things that I truly, truly love, continue to repurchase, and you know, some heads up of things that I'm like, no, no. Um, even though, do I have much that I'm like, yeah, no, not really. I like it all. Okay, um, that is it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Yeah.